Okay, so here's one of the uh, latest acquisitions for the CD32. I recently bought Pinball Illusions because it was cheap on eBay. Um, yeah, my CD32 is set over there in the corner. Um, doesn't get a great deal of use, not as much as I'd like, but now I've bought Pinball Fantasies, we should play a little more. Anyway, show you off uh, what Pinball Fantasies looks like on the CD32. You can hear the music playing. Sounds pretty great, huh? So, takes a little while to load. It's not the fastest of loading machines. So, uh, but it's there. It's not too bad, it's there. So let's, um, start the game and we use the red button to release the ball and then we use the kind of there, didn't I? I'm playing on the screen here on the capture and it's a little bit delayed so a little bit difficult to play. You can see the, the graphics great again Great game, it's one of the Pinball Fantasies, Pinball Dreams, Pinball Illusions, different Pinball Fantasies, but one of my favourite Illusions. This is there on eBay for the right money. So I bought it. Uh, I did buy another game, I'm going to see if it works in a minute. I don't think it did. Anyway, there's one table, that's the uh, that table we've just lost the ball so now I'll um, get out of that if I can why won't let me quit why won't let me quit maybe I have to lose all the balls so let's see So, I think I've just tilted it. I'll pause, get one or the other. Okay. Don't know what I did there, but I pushed the button that it didn't like. Okay, anyway, that's that one. And then the balls we get on there. But yeah, this is Pinball Pants because I've just purchased this off of eBay a little while ago and uh, decided to give it a try and let you guys in on it. Make sure it's working. So get that table. A little bit of loading time, as I said before. And this is. I'll try, see if I've got the right button. This should be Party Land. Yep, Party Land. So that's the other game on here. And the controls are all the same. Not. They're not too dissimilar from each other, the two tables, but I love a pinball game on a on the Amiga especially, they were brilliant. Um, which is why I bought this one. Oh. Come on. Can we make ourselves sick in a minute? Is there you can make yourself sick. Yeah. Yeah. Any 
Oh yeah. Uh, tell us what you think of these. Uh, did you play the CD32 back in the day? Did you have one? Um, lots of people had Amigas and would have played this on the Amiga. So did you play this game on the Amiga? Um, let us know down in the comments. Did I make a good choice buying this game? And uh, I'm going to see if the other game works. If it doesn't, this is the end of the video. If it does, then uh, you'll be seeing another game shortly. And uh, this was another game that I bought for the CD32. Rise of the Robots. Apparently it's one of the worst games ever. Uh, we're about to find out. I'll probably be playing very badly no matter what because uh, I'm playing with a delay. Well, this bit doesn't look too bad. Then I suppose it wouldn't. Entering building. Can't seem to start the game, so uh, Rise of the Robots and um, it'll be a longer video. Did I do that? One player? Okay. Okay. player. Let's try that one. That was a long intro, wasn't it? Unskippable. Am I dying already? That one did then. Oh yeah, they weren't wrong about this, were they? about this is not a great game to play. It's pretty slow and uh, 
go. Okay, we won. I don't know if that's good or bad. But anyway, that's um, Rise of the Robots. Which I'll probably come back to at some point. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that's another game that I recently bought on eBay. Uh, it was cheap, so... Um, yeah, I can see why it's cheap. But anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and um, that's about it. That's all I'm going to do on this today. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.